financially ruined. Finished. But I said I'd cooperate, and I will. Here's the number to call to confirm. Vielen Dank. Also er war bei seinem Buchmacher, weil er gerne wettet. Na super. Na dann. Überprüfen wir es gleich mal. Können Sie das Buchmacher Alibi von Ackermann überprüfen? Ackermann's Alibi checks. He was with his bookie, all right. But we got him on ice for holding and possibly dealing. Ja, der wird nicht mehr glücklich in seinem Leben. Patrick Milton, ich will einen Besuchungsbefehl für sein Studio. You've got some good evidence on Patrick. I can call a judge and get a search warrant to cover anything with paint on it. Is that wide enough of a brush for you? Schön. Vielen Dank. Dann schauen wir mal. Wir dürfen dein Studio durchsuchen, guter Mann. Hat Ackermann ihn gegenüber jemals finanziell Probleme erwähnt? Suppose there's no way of avoiding this. Why I should want to protect that son of a bitch Ackerman, I'll never know. Call it misguided loyalty, but anyway, financial problems is an understatement. He owes me thousands, and over these past six months or so, he's come up with some, shall we say, unconventional ways of reimbursing when cash wasn't handy. Mm-hmm. He wollte sie entlohnen. Well, he offered me his second car, a big screen television from his former rec room, any number of nice, but honestly, secondhand items. I took a few of these offers just to help out, but Nathan's still into me for, well, let's just say, the notion of him suing me is amusing. I know he often accepts cash payments from clients, for reasons you could probably guess, detectives that you are. If not, ask the IRS. Sometimes he's had enough cash in that safe of his to paper those gallery walls. What safe are you talking about? Oh, it's in his back office slash stock room. Keeps documents, sales records, and so on in there, I believe. Well, with cash in that safe, maybe you broke in to claim it was yours. And Rachel Maddox just happened to be there, after hours. The very person you wanted to avoid. Ridiculous! That's slander! So sue me. Hehehe, <laughs> verklagen Sie mich. <laughs> Warwick, du bist toll. Können Sie beweisen, dass Sie zwischen 17 und 18 Uhr hier waren? I live and work alone. But you already know I had no reason to leave until this artwork was finished. Haven't you been listening? Na ja, wir haben einen Durchsuchungsbefehl. That's outrageous! There's nothing here that has anything to do with your stupid investigation. You're violating my sanctuary. Well, you're violating this warrant. Move. Yep, aus dem Weg. Wir müssen unsere Arbeit machen. Oh, ich schick. Also Milton hat was drauf, das muss man sagen. Ja, ich möchte auch rein, danke. So this is the famous painting in progress. Ja, schick. Nehmen wir mit. Hänge ich mir übers Bett auf. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. Now, that's what the now here's the statue our artist friend was finishing up the night before the wedding. The Vic had an ego, all right. I don't see any paint on her, though. Yeah, that can't be done. Oh, she's still chic, aus. Must man wirklich sagen? Wird auch schon nicht zu sein. Aber die Breden möchte ich jetzt nicht mehr. Ach, hier kann man noch hin. Gott, schon wenn man hier hin kann, da gibt es doch bestimmt noch was. Na? A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. Da war schon, glaube ich, echt die Entwickler wollen ihn verarschen. Ach, was haben wir denn hier? A suspicious bag of powder. Now this paints a whole new picture, doesn't it? Ja, da war mitten wohl der Kokser, hä? Okay, da waren wir schon. Vielleicht hier oben was Feines. 
Mal schauen, was hast du alles in der Hand? Idee, be thorough, but nothing's there. Oh, da soll wie immer nicht sein. Warum auch? A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. So ein schicker, kompakter Fernseher. Was willst du? Aha. Hier ist was. Mitnehmen. Killer Tickets für die hottest show in town. Tickets für die heißeste Show der Stadt. Boy, you're lucky when you land these. Sind vielleicht noch... Ah, hier ist ein Fingerabdruck. Mitnehmen. You'll want a different tool for that. Okay, vielleicht das hier. Ja, das braucht wir. So, langsam genug rumgespritzt, bitte. Someday our prince will come. And this is it. Let's get this over to the lab. Yo. Gut, da haben wir schon geguckt. Auch schon geguckt. Wollt ihr mir wirklich sagen, das war schon? Komm schon, irgendwas muss hier doch noch sein. So, irgendwas muss hier noch sein, denn sonst wäre Schauplatz durchsucht. Bravo. Wo haben Sie diese Tickets her? Oh, a friend of mine gave them to me. I took them to be nice. Didn't really have any interest in that commercial stupidity. So it must be some friend to give you such expensive tickets. And you must be pretty well off to toss something you could resell for a couple hundred bucks. So who's the friend? I don't remember. A guy I talked to at the corner restaurant, I think. We'll see about that. Na toll. Beweis aktualisiert. Na gut. Suchen wir später weiter. Erstmal wieder alles auswerten. Tickets? Nein. Ah, hier. There's more to be done with that item before we can process it. Okay, war doch falsch. Ah, hier. Und was haben wir hier? This matches the same batch of meth from Ackerman. So it appears they have a distinct relationship. And it's not legal. Alles klar. Hier machen wir jetzt auch noch was Feines. Blue Paint. But is it the blue paint? Das werden wir gleich herausfinden. Ob es die gleiche Farbe ist. Falsch. Ja, so. Und? Paint from the art studio matches the murder weapon. Maybe Patrick tried to deliver that painting after all. He grabbed his own artwork and swung it hard. Ja. Das werden wir hoffentlich bald erfahren. So, da haben wir noch den Fingerabdruck. Ja, da können wir auch jetzt gespannt sein, zu wem der gehört. Na, bestimmt vom Opfer, ne? Yo! The print matches Rachel. Patrick Milton. Having them in his possession ties him directly to her. Gerichtsbeschluss bei Boris verfügbar. Na, machen wir doch gern. So. Ich möchte einen Haftbefehl für Patrick Milton bekommen. You can serve about 12 warrants on this bozo. He's coming down to the station now. And if he can talk his way out of this, he's a real artist. Da bin ich ja jetzt auf seine Ausrede gespannt. Also Patrick, wir wissen, dass die Rachel Maddox getötet haben. 
You know no such thing. She was a client, and a rich one. She was a pain in the ass, sure, but I wouldn't kill the goose providing the golden eggs. Do I look that stupid? The evidence says you do. So I think you went down there to deliver the unfinished painting. Maybe you tried to pass it off as an artistic statement, but Rachel was having none of it. You see, the meth increased your normal rage, so you grabbed the nearest heavy object, ironically signing the murder with your own work. But the painting is oil-based, and it transferred blue paint to the hawk. So you ditched the hawk in a dumpster, but you kept the damaged painting. So it could support your story that you were still working while Rachel was being killed. And as for the wallet, you grabbed the cash and you dumped it. The tickets, I'm sure, were hidden in the cash. And when you noticed them, you tore them up. But you had no idea Rachel's fingerprints remained. Do you have any idea, any notion at all, what it's like to be an artist? A true artist, and have to put up with the capitalistic needs of that pompous ass Ackerman, reading me the riot act over the phone, that fool. He was the one who made me mad, really. Truly got my negative energies flowing. But when I came around to deliver that damn painting, who was waiting? All by yourself. The lovely subject of my painting. And the painting, you've seen it yourself, it's a masterpiece. It can still use some finishing touches. Only you gave the model, not the painting, the finishing touches, didn't you, Patrick? The woman was a 14 karat bitch. She had the nerve to attack my painting, to criticize me. Face too bright, hair too dark, dress draped improperly, proportions all wrong. God, if I only had the courage to depict the inner her, the demon behind that beautiful face. She's lucky I didn't. She's lucky. Well, she's also dead. She was your boss, Patrick. Night before her wedding, she had to chase you around for the artwork she commissioned. Ever think maybe she had a point? Easy for you. Easy for you. You weren't there. You weren't the brunt of her verbal blows. Yeah, but she was the brunt of your literal blows. Fine. I did it. I rid the world of a monster, a shrill, unrelenting witch. I did her the favor of making her beauty live forever through my art, and the world a favor by ridding it of her inner ugliness.